Welcome to the FC Clubhouse Online. I'm so glad you guys are tuning in. Last week we started a brand new series called Subscribe Now. Uh, and we talked about this idea, that fact that we can know God because of Jesus. Uh, and so, like I said, I'm glad you're tuning in. Uh, we're starting our time this year uh, really just having more of a devotional. Um, and I'm just going to give you guys a challenge to do as a family. Um, and so uh, let's get started. So I don't know... Uh, you guys have heard, probably have heard this word many times, especially if you guys have siblings, if you guys get into a fight, um, but it, this is the word forgiveness, right? Uh, and just a really simple definition of what forgiveness is, it's really just getting to let go of uh, some sort of bad feeling that you might have towards somebody who uh, maybe, you know, did something wrong to you or uh, hurt you in some kind of way. Uh, and so really today what we're going to be talking about uh, is how we can know true forgiveness. Uh, and so to... Uh, dive in and on this conversation. We're going to start with reading God's word, um, really the most important part of our time, uh, and that's really getting the chance to come together and read our uh, read the Bible, read God's words together. Uh, and so we're going to read a story from Mark chapter one. Um, and so I'd love for you guys to kind of just sit uh, and maybe just kind of put yourself in the story as I read it. Um, but we're going to read from chapter one, and we're going to start at verse four. And so I'd love for you to join me. And so, and so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. And he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with the water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Uh, we're going to keep reading a couple more verses. Uh, verse 9 says, And then at that time Jesus came to Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, who I am love. With you I am well pleased. Uh, and at once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness. Uh, and so, a lot, of, a lot of cool things happened in this story. Um, but we were introduced to this character last week. Um, and this guy named John the Baptist. And he was a very po popular prophet. Uh, he was going out and he was baptizing people. He was teaching. Uh, and he was teaching them about really what forgiveness is. Uh, and the problem was, is the people that he was teaching, they still kept coming back to him, kept coming back to John over and over again because they just, they continued to make poor choices. They continued to hurt people. Um, and so I don't know about you. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried your best at, to do something, uh, but really for just some reason, it's just not working out and you couldn't make a choice, a good choice. Or maybe even in your own life, maybe you've hurt someone, um, even though you didn't mean to, um, uh, but you see, John knew the Baptist, he knew uh, that people, that human beings, you know, they could not live a perfect life. Um, and that there really, there had to be a true Savior to come um, who would baptize us humans um, with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and, and, and through that, you know, we'd be able to be forgiven of all of our sins. Um, and the beauty of that is we see that person, that person is Jesus. Um, because when John the Baptist, you know, met Jesus... You know, he, Jesus said, hey, I want you to baptize me. Uh, and what we just read in the passage was saying that how after Jesus went down, he rose up out of the water. It says that the sky opened up uh, and God spoke. Uh, and he said, you are my son whom I love. With you, I am very well pleased. Uh, and, and in that moment, I don't know if you ever knew anyone who knew that Jesus was the son of God. Like Jesus, he was the true savior of the world who came to forgive everyone of all of their sins. Um, and that's really the kind of the big idea that we wanted, I wanted to share with you guys uh, in our time together is that that simple truth that we can know forgiveness um, because of Jesus. Uh, and so um, what I want to challenge you guys to do as a family is um, whether you guys do it after our time together or just later in the week. Um, but I just want you guys um, to take some time and maybe share a story of when, you know, someone might have hurt you or was unkind to you. Um, and then really talk about, you know, how did you respond? Did you did you forgive them? Um, or even, did you want to forgive them? You know, how did you forgive them? Um, 
because you know we have all been hurt by somebody uh, and really it's not easy to forgive um, but because Jesus forgave us you know we can forgive others too um, and so as we kind of wrap up our devotional this morning uh, I would love for you guys to join me in prayer uh, hey God thank you so much for just this time together uh, and to just look over uh, continue to look over John the Baptist um, and seeing his ministry and just showing uh, that just he continued to show people that, you know, we can forgive others. Um, and so we just thank you for that awesome truth um, that we can know true forgiveness because Jesus, um, because Jesus first forgave us. And so we should forgive those around us. Uh, continue to be with us throughout our week, uh, just with us in school, at home, with our friends, our family, God. Uh, continue just to protect us. Uh, we just, uh, we let you, we want you to just be in complete control. Uh, and so uh, as we go throughout our week and uh, maybe something happens and the next time someone hurts us, um, our first response uh, can be the hard one, uh, can be to forgive them for whatever it might be, God. Um, and so, like I said, thank you so much for this time together. Be with us throughout the rest of our week. Uh, it's in your name I pray. Amen. Um, so I'm glad you, like I said, I'm glad you guys have been able to tune in with me. Um, and so uh, I want you to know, you know, we can know true forgiveness because of Jesus. Uh, and until then, I hope to talk to you guys next week.